Hello, blessings to you all, my dear good friends. The Bible says, according to Psalm 118, verse 24, This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Which day? When? Today is the day the Lord has made. And what sh shall we do? We will rejoice and be glad in it. In other words, God has created this day for you and I, for you to have a reason to rejoice. And that reason is coming. It's already there. And it shall be revealed in your life. Hallelujah. In other words, God is giving you 24 hours to have a new beginning. Every day is a new beginning. Every day you have 24 hours that God is investing into you to do something that at the end with God you have a reason to rejoice. And I challenge you, don't waste your 24 precious God-given time. That is your life of the day. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We started talking about new beginnings. Yes, in the beginning, God. And we affirm that God is our beginning. And if God is your beginning, be rest assured that the six days of the week will be days of miracles, days of creation. You see God in action. God doesn't rush. He didn't create the whole world in one day. He did it in six days, step by step, precept by precept. So be rest assured that your week will be perfect in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And on the seventh day, you will know that things are working for you. God is have made things to work on your behalf, and you have good God rest. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, my dear brothers and sisters, I just want to encourage you to know that this day has a purpose. God has a plan. Hey, God wants you to understand and to know that he's on your side. God is good. God is not wicked. God is, that's the good news. God is not wicked. God is not bad. God is good. He gives you life expressed in hours for you to live every day. He renews his mercies, his, his loving kindness, his faithfulness. Why? Every day. So every day there's a new beginning. Every day there's something fresh for you to live it. You don't know tomorrow. Yesterday is past. But you have today. So live today. Your life is today. Your life is not tomorrow. Your life is now. Tomorrow will take care of itself. That's what Jesus said. Hallelujah. I just want today for us to look at a gentleman who had a beautiful and a wonderful beginning with God. His name is Noah. After the flood, when everything was destroyed, everything went into chaos, everything got destroyed, Noah was protected and was kept in the ark with his wife, three sons and their wives, and pair of every animal. They came out, and Noah, according to Genesis chapter 8, put an altar unto the Lord. What is about? An altar of thanksgiving and also to worship the Lord, and also to acknowledge that God has kept his life. You know, God is in the business of pushing you forward because. 2023, you could have stuck over there, but God moved you forward. God gave you progress. God projected you into this new 2024 for a reason. You know why? Because he has a plan. He did the same thing for Noah. He did the same thing for Noah and his family. And I want to trust God, and I want you to believe with me that he will do the same thing for you. So this is the day. Say after me, this is my day that the Lord has made for me. About somebody I don't know, but for me, I believe it is my day. My day to have a reason to rejoice. That means I'll have success. I'll have progress. I'll be satisfied. I'll have victory. I'll be healthy. I will be strong. I'll have strength. I'll be protected. I will have all that God has prepared for me in this day, because 
He said, I will rejoice and I will be glad. That is God's plan for me. Hallelujah. So anything that comes in opposite to that, I refuse it. I reject it. I don't receive it. By faith, I take what God has promised me. And even though it's difficult, even though I might not feel like rejoicing, even though I might not feel like healthy, yet I will say, my God is my strength. My God is my strength. He heals me. He delivers me. He is my healer. He is my strength. He is my fortress. Hallelujah. He blesses me. Hallelujah. So let's look at what happened to Job. Uh, Noah, sorry. In Genesis chapter 8, when we read, um, from the verses 20 to 21, we saw Noah building an ark unto the Lord and his offering was accepted. God will accept your thanksgiving. I said God will accept your worship. God will accept your praise in Jesus' name. And then the Bible said, the Lord smelled a sweet favor and said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground anymore for man's for the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smit any more everything living as I have done. You see, your worship, your praise, and your thanksgiving in your beginning can change the whole world like Noah did. It changed everything. And God covenanted with Noah. And he gave a sign, which is the rainbow that appears in the sky. So anytime I see the rainbow, I know God is still speaking. God's covenant is still holding. And look at what God said. He said, while the earth remaineth, sea time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night shall not cease. And chapter 9 verse 1. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, one, be fruitful. Two, multiply. Three, replenish the earth. Are you familiar with that? That was the blessing he gave to Adam and Eve in the beginning. And that is the blessing that was supposed to be transformed or, or, or passed on unto all humanity. But instead of living in the blessing, they chose to believe in Satan, the devil, the deceptor, and they lost everything. But when man loses everything, it does not mean God's lost anything. God has not lost his blessing. He can bless. He is the creator. He creates this, you know. So the Bible made it clear. When Noah offered offering unto the Lord, God had respect for his offering. And God covenanted with Noah. Because God wanted to have a new beginning. And God wanted to play a great role in his beginning. So this is what God did. He set up seasons. He set up time so that any time, whenever those seasons comes, Noah would know that God he is the one in the beginning of every season and he is the one who is blessing him to be fruitful, to multiply, and to replenish. In every season, there's something to do to be fruitful. There's something to do to multiply. There's something to do to replenish and to have dominion. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, he, look at what he says. Say, there's seed time and there's harvest time. So, God was saying that when the season of seed time comes, Noah, it is time for you to begin sowing. When the seed time, when the harvest time comes, Noah, it's time for you now to collect your harvest. When the cold season comes and the hot season comes, the season changes, summer and winter comes, he said, Noah, summer is beginning. You got to do it. Winter is coming. You got to do that. Have you recognized that in many, many malls and shops, when summer is coming, in already spring, they are already selling summer items before summer begins. When Autumn is coming. They begin to sell autumn items getting to the end of summer. When winter is coming, they begin to do the same at getting to the end of autumn. They are already preparing people for the season. Before the season begins, they have already begun preparing the blessings for people to acquire. That's the same way God does his thing. He sets up the blessings 
before your beginning because he is your beginning. So he's already there showing his faithfulness, manifesting his glory and power on your behalf. So this is what he told Noah. Now, anytime it's cold, I'm there. Anytime it, there's heat, summer, I'm there. When there's winter, I'm there. Now, I like the last one, day and night. This is something that happens every 24 hours, day and night. So every day you have a new beginning. Every night you have another beginning. Do you get it? Okay, and the beginning, God gives you an investment of 24 hours to make destiny decisions that will lead you to enjoy, to have satisfaction and rejoice. Oh, I want to pray for you that this year, like Noah, you enjoy fruitfulness, you enjoy multiplication, you enjoy dominion and replenishing you will enjoy God's blessing to the fullness and you will have the daily blessings you will have the season blessings you will have your summer and winter blessings you will have a, I mean hot and cold blessings you have everything that God has said because he said the as the earth exists remaineth these things will not cease wow they will not cease for whose sake for your sake so that every day you can consciously start your day with understanding, hey, I got to do something. I got to take decisions that will lead me to rejoice and be glad because this is the day the Lord has made. It's not Satan. It's not the devil. It's not any witch. They don't have the ability to create day and night, but God can do it for you. And he does it for your good. Hallelujah. God bless you. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do so and please share this message this good news with your friends and colleagues and may the lord richly bless you let us pray father i thank you for my dear friends just as you bless noah and he said be fruitful multiply and replenish and have dominion in all the seasons sea time harvest time hot and cold time summer and winter day and night so bless them as they go through all the seasons may they enjoy the lord's blessing in fullness in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen god bless you see you again bye bye